Hi, my name's Isaac, and this is a brand new 2023 GMC Sierra Denali, and today I'm gonna review it for you guys. Now, I'm sure there are some people out there going, $75,000? What could this truck possibly include to justify that price tag? For $75,000, this thing better be my new best friend. And while I have to agree with you, I'd actually argue that pickup trucks have already superseded dogs in becoming man's new best friend. Howdy, neighbor. Oh, I knew David was weird, but I didn't know he was that weird. Okay, boy, fetch. Dear Jesus, please come back, like, today. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Jones GMC for allowing me to borrow this vehicle to review. For all your GMC needs in the Lancaster, Pennsylvania area, I'll leave a link to Jones's website in the description below. Starting out up front, the Sierra has been mid-cycle refreshed, which means it gets new front end styling, a massively updated interior, and some other small refinements that I'll talk about as we go through this truck. But Underneath the hood and the overall body of the truck remain largely unchanged from the outgoing model. You'll get full LED headlights and LED daytime running lights, which double as your turn signals. And to answer someone's question, I'm sure they're already typing in the comment section, these daytime running lights are not actually swooshing or strobing like it looks on the camera. That's just an issue with the camera's refresh rate. In reality, they are a solid uh, bright light normally. And then you'll have LED fog lights down here, parking sensors that dot the front end of the truck. You'll have chrome tow hooks, and there is a camera for the 360 degree camera system incorporated into the grill right below the GMC logo. And it's kind of neat, it has a little washer. Moving underneath the hood in this Denali, it's powered by an updated version of General Motors 3 liter Duramax turbo diesel, making 305 horsepower, 495 pound feet of torque, and that is paired to a 10-speed automatic transmission. The Denali also offers two gas V8 options, a 5.3 liter and a 6.2 liter, respectively. Moving to the profile of the Sierra Denali, starting here with the wheels and tires, you'll have 275 50 Bridgestone tires around these ginormous 22-inch chrome wheels. Though, I wouldn't have it any other way with the Denali. Even though I'm not personally a chrome guy, these are the perfect wheels for this truck. And then if we move up here, you'll have your Duramax badge right there, and then your mirror cap that has a light incorporated into it. It's chrome right here. And moving down here, there is another puddle light and a camera for that 360 degree camera system. And then this mirror has blind spot monitoring incorporated into it. It is power and power folding. So uh, this is a very, very expensive mirror. And then down here, you have chrome door handles. You'll have a button for the keyless entry. And then this does have power running boards. Nice. So when I open the door, the power running boards deploy. And one very neat trick here that uh, a long time ago broke one of my other cameras is that if you kick that button right there, the running board will fold out even further and that will allow you to get up into the bed for easier access to grab stuff. And then you can just tap that again and it will fold back to that position. And once you close the door, it will fold flushly back in place. And then if we move further back here, this is the long box. So it's a six and a half foot box on here. That's very practical for work use. And then down here, there is a cut out for a step which i think is very cool very unique i like that general motors includes that again easier access up into this bed they really like that you have i really like that you have the practicality from gm even though this is a luxury truck it is still very useful and then as we move to the back there is my shadow hello you have your tow hitch down here dual exhaust parking sensors and then the multifunction tailgate, which I will briefly describe. Uh, up here, you'll have two buttons next to your backup camera and another puddle light. If you tap this top button, 
that will lower just the upper portion of the tailgate. That gives you a little bit of a workbench. You can also pull this portion up. That will give you a little bit of a stopper if you have plywood or something. That's very useful. That's basically a bed extender built in to the tailgate. And then if you want, you can tap both of these buttons. That will deploy the top portion and the lower portion and that gives you a step up into the bed and then you have a grab handle right here for easier access up into here that's really nice you'll have a spray and bed liner on here denali uh, stamped into the front of the tailgate you'll have led bed lights and then you'll also have tie downs and a household 120 volt outlet so despite all the amazing bells and whistles this has on the inside that we're about to get to it also has a lot on the outside one more thing I wanted to talk about while I'm up here is there's also a camera incorporated into your third brake light up here. That is to give you uh, a look into the bed. If you're driving, maybe you have something moving around in here, you wanna see it. And that is really thoughtful on General Motors part. Now, as I back out of the bed here, it does occur to me as I'm putting this tailgate back up that I should show you if you would prefer this to drop like a normal tailgate, you also do have that option. You do not have to use this multi-function system if you don't want to. You can use it like a regular tailgate if you'd like. Before we move fully into the interior, I wanted to highlight the key fob quickly. In addition to unlock, lock, panic, and remote start, you also have the ability to drop the tailgate from the key fob. Now that's also a button that's on the inside. I'll mention that in a little bit as well. There is no button to raise the tailgate though, unfortunately. Moving to the interior of the Denali, GMC has finally stepped up its game. I'm wildly impressed with the quality in here and I think you guys will be too. The first thing I wanted to mention though is when you open the door to first get in the truck, and close it, it's gonna give you this awesome gauge cluster and infotainment screen animation that plays. And it's very simple, it just says Denali and then GMC on the other screen right there. But that attention to detail is something that continues throughout the rest of this interior. And I love that little added bonus every time you get in. In fact, I waited to turn the truck on so I could show you guys that animation. Every GM vehicle I review, I always show that because it's so cool and it's different. Uh, uh, based on the trim that you get on the vehicle, which I think is so cool. But let's start here with the door panel. Uh, you'll have a nice soft touch material right here, kind of a rubbery leather-esque. Uh, it might be real leather, but it's very comfortable. And then you'll have wood down here. You'll have lock, unlock, and your controls for the uh, seats, the memory positions. Then it says Denali down here on the door. Not many vehicles I know that say what the trim is on the door panel, but Denali has that street cred to be able to do it. And then down here, you'll have your buttons for your windows and your mirrors and the aforementioned power fold mirrors which is very convenient got to remember to power fold those mirrors so you don't accidentally get them knocked off and then down here you'll have your four-wheel drive settings your your electronic parking brake and some lighting controls and you know what's so interesting is even over here this is a very not often traveled part of the truck yet the quality and material is still just as nice as it is all over the rest of this truck, which I think is so neat. And then if we move here into the gauge cluster, that is controlled from the steering wheel right here. You can do a lot of different things. My personal favorite chaotic thing to do is you can customize the tack and gauge, uh, the tack and the speedometer center. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put both of them on tire pressure. I don't know why you'd wanna do that, but for some reason they give you the option to do that. If you wanna put um, both of them on compass, you can do that. It's not gonna give you any more accurate a readout of which direction you're going, because obviously you can only go one direction at a time, but if you wanna put two compasses on your gauge cluster, you can do that on the GM vehicles, which I think is very strange, but a neat touch. And then here on the steering wheel, it is leather wrapped, very finely appointed. You'll have heating incorporated into it, paddle shifters and controls for your uh, lane departure warning, your uh, radar guided cruise control. And then over here, you'll have, hello everybody, um, your giant infotainment system. I love this thing, very intuitive. It has definitely caught up to 
Ford and Dodge in their premium infotainment systems. This is very sleek. It takes the quickness of GM's outgoing infotainment system and pairs it with a much larger screen, which was very needed. <laughs> Definitely high praise from me on here. You'll have Google Maps, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto incorporated into it quite a lot. One of my favorite things though that I'm gonna to touch upon right now is if we shift into reverse, you have a lot of different cameras. You'll have a 360 degree overhead camera, your backup camera, you can do just like a trailering camera, you can do just your mirrors if you want, you can do just your ball hitch if you want, there is so many options. In fact, there is the bed camera that I mentioned before, just to make sure everything's secured in your bed. There is just, you can even zoom. Look at this, zoom. Yeah, yeah. That is crazy. GM is absolutely leading in camera technology. And I'm so thankful that they've finally incorporated it into this um, much larger screen because they had the technology for a while, but they didn't have the screen. And now they do, and I'm so impressed. Moving further down here, you'll have a huge, almost fighter jet-like push to start button right here. And then all your climate controls, heated and ventilated seats. And then down here, you'll have, <clears throat> we're gonna get all of these in one shot. Lane departure warning, rear parking sensor turn off, auto engine start stop turn off. You can drop the bed from here. You can turn your hazards on, traction control off, hill descent control, and last but not least, you can put all four windows down at the same time with this button. I don't really consider that a super luxurious button, but you can do that. Uh, unfortunately, you can't raise them all at the same time, so you still have to reach over here with four fingers to pull them all up, though the thought is very nice. Then over here, you'll have USB, USB-C. You'll have your shifter right here, your trailer brake assist, and then this is a wireless charger right there. And then if we open this up, there is a gigantic storage space right here. A little light, you'll get a, uh, ooh, is this a household? I think this is a household, yep. Household outlet incorporated into there, USB and USB-C again. So a lot of different charging options and uh, just very, very impressive. You could put your phone right here. This is not a charger, but it is a very nice place to lay it. And the position in this truck is very comfortable. Looks like I'm driving into heaven because this guy is so blown out. There we go. Um, up here, you do have a regular auto dimming mirror. There is an option for a camera that goes into the third brake light and then appears on here. That's on some of the other Denali's I've reviewed in the past. This uh, specific Denali does not have that option box checked. Up here though, you do have a button for your power sliding rear window. And then up here, you do have a sunroof. Now it's nice to have a sunroof, but I think this is the GMC Denali's, really it's only hold back right now is there is not an option even on the Denali Ultimate for a panoramic sunroof. Ford, you can do that on an XLT. That's a low trim, you can get a panoramic sunroof, but you just can't on GMC right now. I have to imagine it's something with how they built the infrastructure of the truck and, and the uh, safety bars in here or something, but uh, kind of disappointing that you don't have that option. It would have been very nice to see. But other than that, this is an incredibly premium interior. I mean, look at the dashboard with this wood. You'll have the button to open up your little glove box up there. You'll have the leather stitching right here with the, the little accents. I mean, it is so nice. The seats are incredibly comfortable power. They say Denali in them. I mean, just amazing. Overall, a very, very incredible interior. Let's take a look at the back seats. Moving to the back seats, I have probably five or six inches of leg room right here. And at 5'9", I probably have five inches of headroom. It's incredible back here. Definitely somewhere that a taller person could spend a lot of time and still be comfortable. And then if we move down here, you're gonna have heated seats, USB and USB-C and climate vents. And then up here, you will have a fold down center armrest with cup holders, spot for Fiji water. And this is one of my favorite details. Behind the seats, there's also a little storage area right here on both sides. That's so nice. And you can fold up the seats if you want. And that gives you a more flush load floor down here and some storage right down there. And then what I really like about GM is I can just kind of pull them and they click back in place. I don't have to pull an additional strap. I can just pull up and I can pull down 
or I can pull up and I guess I can drop down, which is very nice. And the accenting wooding, the accenting wooding, the accenting wood continues in the back as well. Let's take this thing for a spin. All right, driving the Duramax diesel Denali. This is a very responsive truck. I've driven a lot of trucks in the General Motors family that have this engine specification, and I've driven quite a lot of the optional 6.2 and 5.3 liter as well, and I've always been impressed with what they've been able to put out with power, performance, and I especially like this diesel because it's available in the 1500 configuration, which is really nice that you don't have to step up to a 25 or a 3500 uh, on the GMC here. They give you this option and it's really responsive and it sounds wonderful. It was lacking. I've polled a lot of my friends and they've always agreed that GMC is probably one of the better looking trucks but the interior has always held back. But now it's got a great interior and they've provided a truck that is now the fully rounded complete package. Acceleration's great on this, braking's great. Um, there's so many features that really just feel very premium and it doesn't feel like I'm compromising with anything on this interior. I keep looking at myself here, but I know I need to look right there. That's where I need to look. <laughs> But that's pretty much going to wrap up my driving impressions here. I know I've been in traffic for most of this, but I have pretty comprehensive driving impressions of this engine on a couple of other General Motors vehicles that I'll link um, up here, and I'll put that right there. And with that, that's going to conclude my driving segment. All right, guys, that's going to conclude my review of this Sierra Denali. I really hope you enjoyed. And before I go, I'd like to mention that I'm a Christian and that I'd love to be able to pray for you if you have any prayer requests. You can leave those in the comment section down below. I love being able to give back to the community in that way. And lastly, I'd like to close with a weekly Bible verse. This week's is Hebrews 13, 16. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Take care. Should I offer to pet it like a dog? Yeah, maybe not. What am I doing? I don't even understand the point of this cutaway joke. Who could ever love a truck as much as a dog?